Now all we have to do is hook up this roll button to take some numbers from the dice data controller and then tell these die views basically to show the appropriate images. Okay, so let's open up Assistant Editor and hook up this button to an action. So verify that it's looking at viewcontroller.m, the implementation file. And we're going to want to hold down control, click and drag the roll button, and create a new action called uh, roll clicked. So this method gets called when the roll button is clicked. Now because we'll be using the dice data controller, we want to import that file, the header file. And here, let's create a new variable. which is a new instance of dice data controller. And then we'll create two number variables to hold the two random numbers. And we will call the method that we created on the dice data controller. Okay, so we created the new instance of the dice data controller here, and then in here we are calling the get die number method twice and assigning the two results to these two variables. And finally, we have to change the images. We have to tell these die views to change the image. And if we go to the header file of view controller, we called it first die view and second die view. So we expose these two elements as properties that we can access here. So we're going to go self, first die view, and show die number. That's the method that we just created in die view. And I'm going to pass in first number, self dot second die view, show die number, second number. Okay, so let's run it and see what happens. Okay, let's click roll. That's awesome. So we've got the dice showing up. Um, we have to change the label and as well as this background, you can see this white because the background of the uh, of the die view itself is white. So we can just change it to a transparent color so that we just see the UI image view. Okay. So if you look at the header file, you, uh, you'll remember that we exposed the label as some label. So let's go to this self dot sum label and we'll change the text property and once again we'll use the string with format class method so ns string string with format and we'll want to say something like the sum is and we'll have a wildcard and what to put in that wildcard well first number plus second number and this will be the sum and the next thing we need to do is make these transparent. So you can either do it through um, Interface Builder. Let me get back to single view. So you can either do it through Interface Builder by selecting it and selecting the background. It's not the color, selecting the background to nothing. Or another way you could do it. And I'll show you. I'll show the. I'll show you the, the other way since this way is pretty straightforward. Set it back to white. You can go into die view and remember that this method gets called first. So you can change the background property using code. So self dot background color. That's a property of a UI view, and you can assign it UI color clear color. Now if you run it again you won't see any background and that works as we expect. I hope that was pretty easy to follow along and I appreciate you guys watching. Please share it with any of your friends or colleagues who are interested in iPhone development and help me spread the word. And as usual, the notes are in the description below as well as the link to the source code and the image assets. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.